What they're terrified of is not protest, but in us coming together, no matter what race, no matter what religion or no religion, no matter what income bracket, and healing the fault lines, the manufactured fault lines of divide and rule. That's what they're terrified of because they have to divide and rule us because together it's a fly on an elephant's back that we're dealing with here. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Part of that coming together is that someone else's injustice is our injustice. If we only uh, think injustice is worth challenging when it's something that affects us, A, we are allowing that cancer of injustice to grow and grow and grow and eventually it will knock on our door. As Pastor Neomola said, first they came for the Jews and I was not a Jew so I did nothing. Then they came for the communists, I was not a communist so I did nothing. Then they came uh, for the trade unionists, I was not a trade unionist, I did nothing. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out for me. Okay, now they're coming for the Muslims. Now they're coming for the Syrians. Now they're coming for the Libyans. Now they're coming for uh, uh, former soldiers in America who they're targeting, what they call veterans and all the rest of it. Then they're coming for so-and-so. Then they're coming for so-and-so. Not my problem, not my problem, not my problem, not my problem. Knock, 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 late at night. Oh dear, I wonder who that could be. We need to stop complying and start defying by non-complying. There will be no change. We have to comply with our own enslavement because the numbers mean we cannot be enslaved otherwise. Comply with our own enslavement? No, no, no. Supporting the non-compliance of others, of their enslavement, yes, 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 we need to come together. As George Orwell said, until they become conscious, they will never rebel, and until after they have rebelled, they cannot become conscious. Well, how about not rebelling? How about just not cooperating? Not cooperating. Okay. Some guy, some, some guy in a suit, whoever it is, comes out of the White House, comes out of Downing Street. We've had a meeting, we've had a discussion. This is what we're going to do. This is what's going to happen. That only happens because the population comply with that one guy and a few others saying what's going to happen. Oh, you can't break the law. Oh, really? Well, what if a law was passed that the state took your children away tomorrow and you never see them again? Would you comply with that? Oh, no. Well, there is a bloody line then. It's just that my line's fricking over here. And if, when they said, this is what we're going to do, vast numbers of people said, we ain't doing it. No power. Our enslavement is our compliance with our enslavement. We need what I call the non-comply dance, the non-comply dance, compliance, where people dance to a different drum, dance to a different beat. No, no more do we comply out of fear of not complying with these dark suits and people. We stop complying, but we stop complying with a smile on our face and a heart that's open, not in anger, not in bitterness, but in steely, we are not having it. So we hold our vibration and don't get pulled into theirs. Awaken. Remember who you are. The mystic Osho said about the awakened man, awakened man, woman, whatever, we're just all consciousness anyway. He said people are afraid, very much afraid of those who know themselves. They have a certain power, a certain aura, and a certain magnetism. A charisma that can take out alive young people from the traditional imprisonment. The awakened man, woman cannot be enslaved. That is the difficulty. And he, she cannot be imprisoned. The awakened man, woman, is the greatest stranger in the world. He, she does not seem to belong to anybody. No organization confines them. No community, no society, no nation. Why? Because they know that we are all one. All one consciousness. 
freedom is being yourself without permission. People think, oh, we're all one. Oh, we're all the same then. I'm oneness and I'm oneness and I'm oneness. That's not it. When you disconnect from oneness into the uh, limitation of mind and senses, that's when you become, I'm not oneness, I'm not oneness, I'm not oneness. Oneness is what? It is the celebration that we're all expressions of all possibility. Subra celebrating spontaneity, Ex celebrating creativity, celebrating uniqueness is to celebrate the oneness of everything, which is just all possibility under another name. It takes nothing to join the crowd. It takes everything to stand alone. And we're not more and more standing alone because there is a great awakening going on. Einstein said you cannot solve problems with the same level of consciousness that created them. That's why the only way this world is going to change, this reality is going to change, is when there is a consciousness shift, an expansion of consciousness beyond time and space, beyond the bounds of time and space, and there is the gateway to that, that this system wants to shut. in all types of weather looking calligraphies inside of me are leading to men bleeding in darker shades of needing what's left to come could it be world war three or just more conspiracy whoa it's me feel a change on the way new shades of gray number of expressions of the face feel warm from the sun and we run to unite to something maybe we could become maybe one day we could celebrate without traces of hate that we let penetrate right or wrong seems to be the cause the new Separation through racism of a devastated nation. It seems nowadays, if not all days, the USA's became just a chessboard for Satan to play. And it's got most motherfuckers dumbfounded and looking away. Feel warm from the sun, and we run to unite to something maybe we could become. Maybe one day we could celebrate without traces of hate that we let penetrate. in all types of weather looking calligraphies inside of me are leading to men bleeding in darker shades of needing all we can really take away is when the sun changes phase and shifts frequencies new phases and rays the sun will penetrate the skin in new ways maybe we'll rise above maybe we'll stay either way we've got to prepare main all the evil shit that we've been seeing brewing up 